Lesson 7, 6 is solving multi-step inequalities. This is the last lesson in Chapter 7. And we're going to combine everything that you learned throughout Chapter 7. Uh, solving multi-step inequalities. Remember, these are just like regular multi-step equations. Just remember to reverse the inequality sign if you multiply or divide by a negative number. That is the only difference between these equations and the ones you did for your poster earlier this year. So the first equation, 2x plus 8 is greater than 24. We need to get the x all by itself. So we will subtract 8 from both sides to get rid of it. Because you're such advanced math students, what happens to the 8s on the left? Yes, of course, they cancel each other out. We have 2x is greater than 16. Now, 2x is greater than 16. It's a multiplication equation. We divide both sides by 2. And the 2's on the left cancel out. So we have x is less than 8. So I'm wondering if you notice anything wrong with this. I hope you do. Because it's actually not x is less than 8. It's x is greater than 8. I reversed the symbol to see if you would catch on. I hope you did. We divided by a positive number, so the answer stays the same. The symbol stays the same. It does not reverse. So very important that you remember that. Thank you very much. Okay, moving on to the next slide. We have variables on both sides of the equation this time. So we have 3x minus 2 is greater than 10 minus x. So first thing we need to do is move all the x's to one side. And I have three x's on the left and a negative x on the right. We should move them to the left this time. So we will add x to both sides of this equation. What happens to the x's on the right-hand side of the inequality sign? They cancel each other out. And three x's and one more x is 4x minus 2 greater than 10. So now it's the similar equation to the one on the previous slide. We have to add 2 to both sides. Because you're such advanced math students, what happens to the 2's on the left-hand side of the inequality? They cancel each other out, leaving 4x greater than 12. Simple multiplication equation now. 4x is greater than 12, so we'll divide both sides by 4. As I cancel out the 4's on the left-hand side, because that's what they need to do, the symbol is greater than. Is it going to change to less than, or is it going to stay greater than? We divided by a positive number, so it remains the same. And 12 divided by 4 is 3. So no switching of symbols as of yet, but I would venture a guess that is probably going to happen soon. Here we have 4 minus 3n is less than or equal to 19. We got to get the variable all by itself on the, right, on the left-hand side of the inequality, so we will start off by subtracting 4 because 4 is a positive number. In order to remove it, we have to subtract it. Because you're such advanced math students, what happens to the 4s on the left-hand side of the equation? They cancel each other out. So we have negative 3n less than or equal to 19 minus 4 is 15. Now we have negative 3n is less than or equal to 15. We have to divide both sides by negative 3. Kind of a hint there. What happens to the negative 3's on the left-hand side? They cancel each other out. Now, we divided by a negative number, so the symbol, the inequality, has to be reversed. And 15 divided by negative 3 is negative 5. So this is our first example where we have a multi-step inequality equation and the symbol switched. Finally, we have 8 plus 3n is less than or equal to 2 times 9 minus n. First things first, we have some distributive property to take care of, which you should remember from chapter 3. 8 plus 3n is less than or equal to 2 times 9 is 18, and 2 times n is minus 2n. So we have 8 plus 3n is less than or equal to 18 minus 2n. We want to move all the n's to one side. This will choose to move them to the left-hand side, so we'll add 2n to both sides. What happens to the two n's on the right-hand side? They cancel each other out. So we're going to have 8 plus 5n less than or equal to 18. Now it's just like the first equation we solved on this, uh, in this lesson. We have 8 that we need to remove, so we will subtract 8 from both sides. Very good. 
because you're such advanced math students, what happens to the eights on the right-hand side of the equation? Yes, they cancel each other out. So we have 5n is less than or equal to 10. And finally, we will divide both sides by 5. What happens to the fives on the left? They cancel each other out. Now we divided by a positive number. Is the inequality going to reverse or stay the same? It's going to stay the same. So n is less than or equal to 2. So a little bit more work. Some of these equations can be lengthy like this, but not too much if you take them one step at a time. And finally, your homework is on page 357. It's problems 14 to 40, the evens.